I want to introduce you to myself by showing you my childhood bedroom at my parents' house in Van Meter, Iowa, way out in the countryside. It's been a major setting in my life. We moved to the house when I was in kindergarten. I wanted the walls to be pink, but then I thought it would be too girly girl, so I went with peach, which is a hugely different color if you're a six-year-old girl. My parents made my little brother repaint the walls when I was away at undergrad, which was a really smart move decor-wise. As you can see, I have a lot of paper cranes hanging from the ceiling, 995 to be exact. According to Japanese mythology, if you fold a thousand paper cranes, you get a wish come true, but I'm saving my wish for some time when I really need it. I spent a lot of time in my bedroom, reading and writing and watching illegally streamed TV shows. I have a big family, and it was really the only place where I could have any privacy. When I was growing up, I had a really tough time realizing that the real world didn't have the kind of magic that people seem to have in all the fantasy books I was reading. And so my dad, conscious of this, started hiding little solar-powered lights in the trees so I'd see them at night. And even though I'm an adult now, he still does it when I come home. I've always been a big nerd, so I've got my Spock and Shakespeare bobbleheads. Bach Bach right there is my favorite beer. Then I have pieces I made out of glass and some plastic horses from both those phases of my life. On this top shelf, I've got some of my favorite books. So you can see Kurt Vonnegut, Phantom of the Opera. Um, I also have my journals, which I kept pretty extensively when I was traveling abroad. And it's always good, I think, to have those, especially as a writer. But no description of my childhood bedroom would be complete without my closet collage. I worked on it for years as a teenager, adding new pictures and objects, covering others up. Every picture or magazine cutout held some kind of significance to me, and for a long time I considered it something that really represented who I was. Even now, stepping into my closet, I can feel the significance of these images and words and I can see how much I've grown. And that's me through my room.